Dear students, this is a continuation of the video lectures under the topic Laplace transform. In our previous video lectures, we have solved till problem 18. Now here we have problem 19. The question here is to find the Laplace transform of t cos square t. We observed that we have to find the Laplace transform of product of two functions. So whenever we have product of two functions, we have to apply the theorems under Laplace transform for which we have to check what kind of function we have. We have t cos square t. So if we have one of the function to be t and the other function can be taken as f of t. So in such case, we have to use theorem 2. So the theorem 2 states that the Laplace transform of t f of t that is product of two functions in which one of the function is t will be equal to negative d by ds of Laplace transform of f of t. So we have to find the Laplace transform of the function f of t and we have to differentiate the resulting answer with respect to s and multiply by negative 1. So this is the theorem. Now let us apply this theorem for our given question. So here if you see we have to find the Laplace transform of t cos square t and that is equal to applying this theorem we can write it as negative d by ds of l of f of t. What is f of t here? So when we compare we see that f of t is cos square t. So L of cos square t. So this is what we have to find. So let us mark this as equation 1. So that we will separately find L of cos square t and then we will substitute in this equation 1 in order to find the answer. I have already done video lectures like how to find the Laplace transform of square of trigonometric term. So we have to use that concept and find the Laplace transform of cos square t. So let us do that now. So in order to find the Laplace transform of cos square t, we have to use the identities under trigonometry. So we know that cos square t is equal to 1 plus cos 2t divided by so this is the trigonometric identity that we will be using in order to find the Laplace transform of cos square t. So therefore Laplace transform of cos square t can be written as Laplace transform of substituting this identity instead of cos square t we will be having 1 plus cos 2t the whole divided by so now by using the scalar property and linearity property we can take this 1 by 2 outside and within the bracket we can have, have the Laplace transform of each of the functions separately. So first we will be having Laplace transform of 1 plus Laplace transform of cos 2t. So we, what is Laplace transform of 1 by the formulas under Laplace transform? We know that Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by s. So let me write that here. Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by s. So we will be using this formula. Also we know that Laplace transform of cos a t is equal to s divided by s square plus a square. So we have to use these two results over here. So Therefore, we will obtain this to be equal to, um, we, we will write here, so this will be equal to 1 by 2 we have as it is and in the bracket instead of L of 1, we know that L of 1 is 1 by S, so we can substitute that plus we know that L of cos 2t is equal to, we have to apply this formula, now instead of A we have 2t, so it will be s divided by s square plus a square. What is a here? a is 2. So 2 square is 4. So this is what we get. 
so we have found laplace transform of cos square t to be equal to 1 by 2 of 1 by s plus s by s square plus 4 we can simplify it here and then we can substitute in equation 1 or we can substitute in equation 1 and later also we can simplify so let me take this and substitute in equation 1 so we get laplace transform of t cos square t to be equal to so what is equation 1 we have written here negative d by ds of laplace transform of cos square t so laplace transform of cos square t we have found separately so we can take and substitute that here so we will be getting negative d by ds of so what did we find here 1 by 2 of 1 by s plus s by s square plus 4 now we can differentiate each of the functions separately so when we do so we get this to be equal to so further this 1 by 2 is a constant which can be taken out so we will be having negative 1 by 2 and within the bracket first we will write the differentiation of 1 by s plus differentiation of s by s square plus 4 now we have to differentiate 1 by s first so this will be equal to negative 1 by 2 of the differentiation of 1 by s is negative 1 by s square we will be applying u by v method in order to differentiate this so when we apply that we get this to be equal to negative 1 by s square plus now the uh, differentiation of this again we have to use the u by v method where in the denominator it is v square and v multiplied with the differentiation of u which is z1 because the differentiation of s is 1 minus s multiplied with the differentiation of the denominator that is v so it is 2s so this is what we obtain if you want to understand this better please, please uh, kindly go and check the problems that we have done previously in which i have very elaborately explained how we differentiate such kind of terms by using u by v method kindly follow those video lectures in order to understand this better so since i am using the same concept here i am not uh, saying about this in detail so we will move further so which will be equal to negative 1 by 2 of minus 1 by s square now we will simplify this so this will be when you multiply this with 1 it will be s square plus 4 and then minus Uh, two multiple two s multiplied with s will give us two s square. So what we will be having, we will be having uh, four. So plus four s square minus two s square gives us minus s square divided by s square plus four the whole square. So this will be further equal to when we multiply this negative one by uh, negative sign inside. we will be having 1 by 2 out here and when this negative gets multiplied with this it becomes 1 by s square and minus into plus becomes minus so it will be minus 4 and minus into minus will become plus here so it will be plus s square so we can write it as s square minus 4 divided by s square plus 4 the whole square so this is what we get so you, we can just leave the problem with this or we can even more simplify it by taking the lcm so that also i will show you so this is what we obtained as answer so further simplifying this it will be equal to 1 by 2 of taking lcm in the denominator we will be having s square multiplied with s square plus 4 the whole square and this mult gets multiplied with 1 and so we will be having s square plus 4 the whole square plus this s square gets multiplied with this so we will be having s square multiplied with s square minus 4 now we can further simplify this in the numerator here we can apply a plus b the whole square formula so already a is s square so a square will be s power 4 plus 2 ab so for 4 two times is 8 and then a is s square plus uh, b square which is 4 4 is 
plus now this s square and s square gets multiplied and we have s to the power 4 minus s square gets multiplied with 4 so we have 4 s square the whole divided by s square multiplied with s square plus 4 the whole square now in the numerator so here we have 1 by 2 and in the numerator s power 4 plus s power 4 will give us 2 s to the power 4 and then 8 s square minus 4 s square gives us plus 4 s square plus 16 divided by s square multiplied with um, s square plus 4 the whole square. Now this can be further simplified because in the numerator we observe that 2 is common. So when we take it out we have a 2 in the denominator and when this 2 is taken common out in the numerator we will be having s power 4 plus 2 s square plus 8 divided by s square multiplied with s square plus 4 the whole square and then this 2 and 2 gets cancelled and therefore the final answer will be s to the power 4 plus 2 s square plus 8 divided by s square multiplied with s square plus 4 the whole square. So this is the result. So uh, therefore the Laplace transform of t multiplied with cos square t is equal to this answer. So hope you have understood this problem. We will see one more problem of a similar type. So here we have the next problem that is problem number 20 where we have to find the Laplace transform of t cos cube t. Now by using the theorem 2 we know that Laplace transform of a function that is Laplace transform of a function multiplied with t is equal to negative d by ds of Laplace transform of f of t. So therefore, here we have L of t cos cube t. So therefore, this will be treated as f of t and so we will be having negative d by ds of L of f of t. What is f of t? Cos cube t. So you mark this as equation 1. So first we will find this L of cos cube t and then we will take and substitute this over here. So in order to find that, we will be using the trigonometric identity where cos cube t is equal to 3 cos t plus cos 3 t divided by 4. So using this identity, L of cos cube t will be equal to L of this formula we can substitute here. Now by using the linearity property and the scalar property, this 1 by 4 constant can be taken out and Laplace transform of each of the terms can be taken separately. So 3 is a constant. So 3 multiplied with Laplace transform of cos, cos t plus Laplace transform of cos 3t. Now we have to find these two separately by using the formula. We know that Laplace transform of cos a t is equal to s divided by s square plus a square. So using this formula we will be having this to be equal to 1 by 4 3 multiplied with s divided by s square plus a here is 1. So 1 square which will be 1 plus now here a is 3. So s divided by s square plus 3 square which is 9. Now further we will take this and substitute in equation 1 because this is Laplace transform of cos cube t. Now taking and substituting in equation 1 we get Laplace transform of t cos cube t which will be equal to negative d by ds of L of f of t which we have taken and substituted here. Now further this will be equal to uh, this negative 1 by 4 we can take it out and uh, this d by ds we can take for each of the terms separately. So 3 is a constant so I am writing over here and then d by ds of this first term s by s square plus 1 and d by ds of the second term s by s square plus 9. By using u by v method on, on these two, we arrive at this. So uh, by in this, if you observe each term carefully, you can understand the method how I have solved it. And the explanation for this, I have done in my previous video lectures which you can go through once and then you can look into this problem also. And so finally the answer will be 1 by 4 multiplied with 3 into s square minus 1 divided by s square plus 1 the whole square 
plus s square minus 9 divided by s square plus 9 the whole square so this is the answer so hope you have understood both the problems that we have discussed in this lecture uh, more problems on this topic we will be having in our uh, next video next upcoming video lecture so kindly follow that to understand this concept more better thank you